Today is day three of Baltimore Comic Con in the last day, and I am with artist and art mentor Koi Fong. Hi, how are you? How is everybody? <laughs> so, how did you become interested in comic books? Uh, well, as a kid, um, you know, there were, I, we had some family friends who were into comics. Uh, the, the cartoons, right? Saturday morning cartoons, Sunday uh, newspapers, Spider Man and Sunday newspapers. Well, not Sunday, just everyday newspaper back then. So, um, yeah, yeah, newspaper columns and the comic section really got me in. And when I realized that they actually had full blown books of this stuff, so, you know, that, 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 that's what got me. So, are you a self trained artist? I am. Yep, yep. Just, um, a lot of studying, a lot of, a lot of um, doing, right? And now you're a mentor. I am, yeah. So uh, because um, because because I am self-taught, right? And, and just uh, on my journey of discovering how to do this and why we do this, right? Um, I've had to overcome a lot of obstacles to, to understand, you know, what works, what doesn't work. Not just in terms of technique, but also in terms of um, the balancing it with your life. Like, you know, we, we, we do things sometimes where it's like, I want to do this when we're kids. Or I want to do this when I grow up. Um, but when we get, but when we do it, somehow it just doesn't it doesn't add, it doesn't match up to how you felt as a kid, right? And then and part of this has been that journey of like I want to do this when I grow up. I want to do this. And when you do it, you know, if you're not aware, you know, if you're not if you're not aware of why the feeling that you had when you were a kid, and you make sure, you, and if you don't make sure you maintain that feeling of it, the thing itself might be a little lacking, right? So, 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 so I mentor, I try to get people to understand that, you know, let's keep our, our, our sights and our, and our goals aligned so we can make the most out of this life, right? What's the most memorable comic that you've worked on? Well, I've worked on a lot of comics. Um, and to me, part of, the, part of the journey is actually understanding that the reason why all of this works, the best way this works, is if it's about relationships. So I, I like to answer that in terms of like comic, in terms of the relationships and the people that I've, I've been able to work with over the years, right? And, and when you start doing that, it's just like everybody's got their own special thing that they've added to my life. Whereas all my fellow collaborators, all they all have, I have distinct memories of all of the relationships, and that's what makes everything feel you know, so 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 amazing. So what are you reading right now? Um, right now, I have a stack of books that I have not been able to get to, right? But um, so, uh, but I really enjoy. I grew up reading the mainline mainstream comic books, like the Daredevils and you know the, the, the X Men books. So. I still try to keep up with that as much as I can. Is that a challenge too, having to, when you're writing or, or working or doing artwork on a comic, you have to kind of follow what other people have done to be able to stay in tune with what you're working on? Right, right. So, so that, these are good questions, right? Because there is an element of, well, yeah, you got to know what's going on a little bit. But um, what I find works really well is the second part of what you said being aware of what you want to bring into it, right? Because when, when we're in these relationships, right, and just take comics aside, and let's just say you're with a friend, right? If you're the friend who's just telling the other friend what to do all the time and come up with all the ideas, it's not that great of a relationship, right? You want, you want both friends, you want both people on the relationship to contribute and put in their two cents, and you, and you would feel better if they felt good about what they were doing, right? So I've learned that um, that's part of it. So, so when I enter, uh, you know, when I work on a book with people, I, I know it's actually, they want me to offer what I would want to bring to it, right? Because that makes the relationship more more fulfilling and more balanced. So yeah, there is it. So there is a part of it where it's like, yes, the history and all the story, but, but each collaborator should bring in what they want to do because that's what's real, that's what's present, right? What happened in the past, the past, the story came from where it came from, what's real are people. So that's, that's a good